Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm not. And welcome oh. to the useless hotline. <laughs> TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to piss off. We did. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Um, and the use... We did. <laughs> <laughs> got him good. Oh, oh, got him. Um, the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. But it is this week, um, <laughs> so sorry about that if you don't like us. Um, how are you, George? Uh, basically, my parents named me that when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I am fantastic. How are oh, you? I'm good. Do you fantastic know what I re- made it sound like it was on a spectrum. Yeah, it did. It did. Um, but you're not. I'm severely fantastic. Yeah, you are. Um, I looked at um, our YouTube today nice. just for like fun, and <laughs> as most people do, yeah. And the ones with like just us in it get like anywhere between like seventy-five thousand and a hundred thousand, or sometimes even more views. Mm. And I was like, how mad is that? That like seventy-five thousand people, hey, are stupid enough to watch us for like two hours yeah grow up that is just crazy you know, like, anything better to do with your life I know what are you playing at I understand That's... if we're in your ear hole while you're stacking shelves or something yeah but if yeah. we're in your face hole while you're just <laughs> sat at home grow up have you ever been in one of our viewers face holes mm, no I don't <laughs> think so oh I have would you ever now like being at the level that you're at you know mm. being a fucking G yeah. um, would you ever get with like a follower um, I know. I don't. I know the answer. I don't even know why I mean, I'm it's, asking. It's, it's hard not to find someone who follows you these days. Yeah. Though. So it's Aww. you know it's like, mm. do you want to get with someone or not? Is the answer. Yeah, true. Um, and for you, it's no. Mm. Mm. I prefer yes. to. <laughs> I, I say, what were you gonna say? I was, it's like I said. I was, I was gonna. Whoa. Me? I was gonna say I'd prefer to shag the pavement, but I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. I, I, somebody. Oh, somebody got murdered. Outside my flat the other day. What for shagging a pavement? No, just ran over. Oh, as in like actual muck dead, like actual R.I.P. to the girl you used to be. Her days are over. She did die. Though, it so was a man. It was it. a man as well. It wasn't a she. But I feel so Must bad. Must been a big hit. What was it? The drug that ran them over. I wasn't there. I don't know. Nice. And Get you yourself away from the crime you scene. You can't prove anything. I wasn't there. But I feel really bad. There was like flowers, and I was like, "That's so sad." I feel really bad. Those flowers, I was pissed on them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it didn't mean that's it... sad. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, but we've not made it seem like it is sad. No, so it's so sad. sad. I literally started crying with Andrew because like somebody was stood at the flowers, and I was like, "A life has is ended." That just goes show, guys. Be careful out there. Hit mm. and runs, they do happen. Look left and right before you cross the road. Yeah. Oh. And. I was going to make a rhyme, but I can't remember. Yeah. Do you want to do sings again? Songs again? Songs were fun last week. Songs? What do you mean? Or the week before that? The, when the Killian Ballager thing came Oh, out. yes. Like Wait, that. but first, um, I just want to catch up because I've not seen you in so long. Oh, yeah. So you guys um, in YouTube or Spotify or Apple Music or anything, whatever land. Wherever um, you consume your podcasts. Yes. You think that it's been a week, but I've not seen George. In fact, I've seen you about a week ago. A bottle we can <laughs> oh, Goodbye, Nate. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah, I saw you, like, maybe... Yeah, a week ago. <laughs> anyway, God, that's up. crazy. Wait. Um, but you went on holiday. I did. I went to Croatia. But I was going to ask you where you went, because you kept tagging the same place, but I didn't know what that was, and I couldn't be bothered clicking on it. it was, so. it's, a little, it's a little island off the coast of Split. Split is a... Uh, city in Croatia. Also that film about that guy who has schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, except... Not, nothing to do with that film. Oh, was he not there? No, he wasn't there. No. He was busy. Okay. Um, I think that that's Ryan Gosling. Mm, it's not. Oh, it's not. You're right. He's no. in Barbie. It's that bloke from... You and McGregor? Is that it? No. 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 That's, that's, that's it's, Star um, Wars boy. The guy from um, A Star Is Born, ha- Hangover, The Hangover. What is his name? Bradley Cooper. That's not Split. Oh, my that's, God. You're thinking of Divergent, where he does the drug that makes him go... He's not in Divergent either. Yeah, yeah. I swear Bradley he is. Cooper. <laughs> that, that, what's that I film? That... It's not. We don't know anything. I well, don't what's think What's the that film that makes it. him like go... He's like all Turns souped into up. a spider. Hey, hey Siri. Limitless. Limitless. That's the one, yeah. Don't know what that is. All right. We, yeah. don't, we don't have much knowledge. Anyway, carry on. Um, so, yeah, Split. Uh, I love how you told yourself got, to carry got on, on got then. A little, got a little ferry. Choo-choo. Oh. 
ferret uh no that would have been a long journey yeah um probably need multiple yeah just probably. sort of scurry along on their yeah. backs <laughs> um yeah. uh yeah a little ferry over to havar oh hiya oh havar there's so much you could have done there havar nice time oh, Havar, yeah. great day Aww. like i rinsed them to oh. into oblivion the havar jokes um, um but genuinely uh, have you been to greece before Yes, and very job. beautiful place. So beautiful, yeah. proper clean water. Yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly what uh, Croatia's like. It's it was such a beautiful little town. Oh, very clear waters, mm -hmm. like no sort of classic touristy sort of yeah. Irish pub there. Mm. Like you know, that's Greg's like bored outside. That's like just like br a bright color with Full just English. like pictures of like loads of food. Right, like it's really nice, like picturesque town. Mm. And then in the night, there's a ferry that you could, a little like taxi boat that takes you over to another island about, about 10 minutes away. Mm. There's, a, there's a club on this island that's just in the middle of all these trees, just in its own like island. Have a nice night there. There's also wow. a little, tr there's a little street where there's three bars all owned by the same people playing mm. different music. And the music mm. obviously overflows into the street, so do people and you just end up having like a party on the street. Whoa. There's like beach clubs and stuff. It's, I would, I've, Every person that's asked me about it, I'd be like, go, just go. Wow. Like, it's so, it's like, I would, you would, you would absolutely love it. Yeah. Where did you stay? In like a hotel or in Airbnb. Like a, oh. It was like, I think you always have better holidays when you stay in an Airbnb because yeah. nine times out of 10, you're not in like a really touristy area. Mm. Um, yeah. When I went to, what's that place called? Antwerp. Yeah. Worst holiday of my life. Literally, fuck <laughs> all to do there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how this is related. I did stay in an Airbnb, that's how it's related. Mm -hmm. um, we got there and we thought that we were close to the city center. This was not recent, by the way. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It was in 2017. Got there. I was gonna say, when did you go to Antwerp? I didn't. Um, it, was, it was five years, six years ago. Why is um, this relevant then? I, Cause I stayed in an Airbnb. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, Airbnb, <laughs> let me make this about me. In 2017, <laughs> I went to Antwerp. <laughs> and it was so shit. I remember... Um, Did you feel yeah, like Antwerp? I feel like I was getting twerped off by Antwerp. Like, there was Ooh. nothing good happening. And every direction that me and my friend went, we made the wrong decision, like, over and over again. Oh. It was the World Cup, I remember. Nice. Would it have been 2018 then? It was yes. The it was 2018. It was the World Cup, and it was England versus Belgium, right. and Belgium won. And you went, yes, because you there was went nothing else. You went to, to do. Antwerp to Not watch the World that. Cup. No. <laughs> no. That is the weirdest. No, it was a I bet you were like Belgian colours as well, weren't you? Like, <laughs> woo, Antwerp. So literally, we did went. you actually go in Belgian colours? Yes. Oh. So, <laughs> so well, so we went, and we didn't know that it was the World Cup. Shockingly. And well, we got there, just a friendly game. and there was nothing happening. When I tell you nothing happening in this well, entire when city, anybody ever said, "Oh, come to Antwerp?" We just thought it was a funny word, so we went. How stupid is that? That is like <laughs> just bad tourism decisions. Don't pick your holidays based on that, and don't pick an Airbnb that's in an obscure part of the city. And and it was a community full of um, what is it? What? Belgians. No. Oh my God, I've forgotten the word. It was a community full of Orthodox Jews. Like everybody mm. was Orthodox Jew. And my Supposed friend- Supposed to be unorthodox ones who don't- Yeah, they're just so crazy. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they literally would like scowl at us because she'd have like all of her clothes basically off. Basically, around naked. basically walking around with her tits out. Fair enough to be fair. Nice. Um, so that was not good. And then when it was the World Cup day, we were like, surely today there will be celebrations going on. It's the World Cup. Belgium mm. are playing. Yeah. Something has got to be happening. We've searched the entire city. No pubs were even showing it. We were like, what the hell is going on? We searched everywhere to, uh, we got to this ferry, weirdly, on a yeah. boat. And we were like, should we just get on this ferry and see where it takes us? Because like, that life is not worth living. Got on this ferry, halfway across the river, we see this giant stadium nice. that has been made with like a huge screen. They do to tend to be made. They, you know, it's, they don't, they're quite hard to find just Shut in the, the wild. Fuck up. Um, with like a huge screen to watch the uh, it's called what you call it, game. You sort of sit around it. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't the stadium. It was like an outdoor viewing place. TV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and the um and we were on the water going to this random obscure landmark over there. 
going past this massive party that's happening, everybody watching it, we had to watch everybody having fun <laughs> as the ferry went to this random statue. And then we had to wait for until the ferry was coming back to get to the game. The game had finished and they wouldn't even let us in. I literally climbed a fence like six or plus foot high and broke in. And it was shit. Like you broke into the broke into watch an game. aftermath of a football game, and people were dancing. To be fair, and um, <laughs> when we realised that England had lost at that point, mm. we threw like our because we had like um, England face paint on and everything. Yeah, we literally wiped it off and put Belgium like flags around us, and we're like, woohoo! I'd be like, oh yeah, Hava. <laughs> oh Hava, the famous yeah. Belgian yeah. island. Um, so I don't know. I did not expect that story to come up, but um, no, I, hope I didn't think it needed it. to. Really, no, but, it didn't. Uh, there you go. But yeah, what else happened while she was away? The Barbie movie premiere. What happened mm-hmm. while she was away? And I wore an outfit um, made of Crocs. Don't know if you saw. Mm-hmm. Very impressive. As it was uh, your own words, crocking. it was. It was hashtag Croc and Roll, and um, that was just so cool. I when we there's so many famous people in that film. Did you know Will Ferrell's in it? He yeah. was at the premiere. Dula Peep. Yeah. Um, lots of other people who I can't remember. Is it true? Oh. I heard this. Oh. That everyone's like, oh, yeah, I went to the Barbie premiere. The Barbie premiere. Oh, it was so sick. It was so sick. It was so cool to be on the on the uh, red carpet with all mm. these stars and stuff, that you just had different red carpets. Like, one was for the influencers, one was for, like, the actual, no, like, what the they actual did. people. Well, I don't know because... I heard I some people. <laughs> well, no, I heard some people say that, but basically, we left all the influencers left in a group, and mm. then I realised that I hadn't got a wristband like everybody else. Like you were supposed to pick up a wristband. Mm. So then me and Andrew went back, and then we went in after everybody. And there's that picture of Margot Robbie and me behind her. Mm. So I was I was on like the same carpet as her. But maybe that's because I went later, like about like five minutes later. So maybe I didn't yeah. get put onto like an influencer carpet. But I think to my knowledge, I walked the normal one. Because I was there with Margot just like living it up. But I didn't even see her. That picture where I'm directly behind Margot Robbie and my face is for some reason doing this, which mm. is horrifying knowledge mm-hmm. to know that my face on I mean, your standing... your face doing anything is horrifying, but... I, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm now finding that out to be true. Um... And I was so upset after I saw that because I was like, my one picture with Margot Robbie and I look like I'm melting. Hmm. But it is what it is. Um, That's Roy. Yeah. yeah, Roy. But I didn't know that she was there. So I must have been on the same thing as her, but it was all very fast paced that I just kept. Going, Yo, where did Margot? I was like, oh, yeah, what are you doing? Where's Margot? Margo, where are you going? Polo. <laughs> Stupid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was so good. Watch the film, guys, if you haven't, because it's really sick. And um, don't, pay to do this. don't watch it if you don't want to. Actually, yeah, if you don't want to, <laughs> don't watch it. Um, but it is really good. Uh, do you want to do, do a fun game? Yeah, go on. Um, basically, how well do you oh. know the animal kingdom? Not that well, but I'll well try enough. my best. Okay. Yeah, probably. So um, I'm going to envisage that there's an animal in my pocket. Envisage? Does yeah. that mean just like imagine? Imagine, yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. so I'm going to... I'm going to pretend <laughs> that there's an animal in my pocket. Um, and you have to give me yes or no questions until you get the animal. You only get three guesses of the oh, actual shit. animal, but you do yes or no to try and narrow it down. Do penguins count as animals? Yes, like birds. Is that a bird? A penguin is a bird. Yeah. So is that not an animal? They, if it's not us and it moves and walks around and does its own all its own thing. So it's the an insects animal. count. Yeah, that comes. This is. Criteria. I need five questions. No, as in. You can do loads, as many yes or no questions as you want. Oh. But only three actual guesses. So you can go right. like, oh, is it big? Is it small? Right. Could, okay. I'm with you. Okay, then. Have you got one in your head? Do you want to do it? Do you want to be the person with the animal in their pocket or do I want to be it? In your pocket? So it's just going to pretend that there's an animal oh, in your pocket. Oh, why don't we whisper it into the microphone so that they all know what it is? No, because they can play along at home then. Wonder yeah, if but they... it's better if they know and then they see us guessing. No, they, they, guess. they, if. They they might catch on. They might not catch on. They can play along at home. Right. Well, let's do one one of my version, one of your version, and then they can let us know which version they prefer. You go first. You imagine one. Um, Don't tell the audience. Don't tell the audience. Okay. I've got an animal in my pocket. Okay. <coughs> it's not a sea. Worm. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> um. Okay. Can it fly? 
Uh, yes. Why are you even questioning that? It, yeah, it's. I would very much know if it could fly or not. Okay. So yeah. Maybe you can read into that. Maybe you can't. Maybe you're trying to throw me off. Maybe okay you. then. Um, can it swim? Yes. Is it a duck? No, and that's one of your guesses. Oh, of shit. your three guesses. So, so it can fly three. and it can swim. Yeah. Is it extinct? No. Does it have a beak? Yes. Mm. Beak bill. Bill. Platypus? No. Oh, shit. They famously can't fly. What is a bill? <laughs> Platypus is <laughs> famously cannot fly. What is a bill? Uh, can that be a question? <laughs> just someone who prefers not to be called William. Oh, or a policeman. Is a bill just like a, a duck, uh, a beak that's not pointy? Basically, yeah, I just to dumb it down for you what the hell has a beak that's not pointy is it oh does it have a long neck yes oh does its neck go like heart shape yes is it a swan yeah hey! that was really quick yes. well done. what the fuck good job okay. right. right put an animal in your pocket okay wait 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 let me think of one let me think of one let me think of one right okay right I've got a really good one turn around so you can't hear me I want to whisper that's it that's not to how him. ears work <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, oh. George, shut your eyes so you can't taste me. Oh. <laughs> so you can't taste me. Oh, I bet you've said that before. George, close your nose so you can't hear me. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Oh god. Right. Um, oh, I don't like the taste of this food. Oh, don't worry, shut your ears off. You're about to taste it. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll awful. just I'll just do this. Don't yeah. Done it. Yeah. Oh, can I also have a pen, please, Callum? I thought whilst <laughs> <laughs> keep that in, please keep that in. That is so funny. <laughs> Why did I just? I don't even know how I did that. You are awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought whilst uh, we do it, if we th think of a clip that would be funny, yeah, then we can right. write it down. Um, what did you just say then that was funny? You <laughs> can't have to narrow it down. So when I when I said like, just say turn around so you don't hear me. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Turn around. <laughs> and there was another thing at the beginning, but I can't see, I can't remember it now. That's why I write them down. Alex, there was another thing at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Try and find that. Unsure what it was. Something so far was a clip. See if you can figure out yeah, what it was. Maybe just remind me for this episode, Alex, to watch like the first 10 minutes and then I'll find it. No, not anymore. I watch them like after the fact, but not before they go out. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'm in so many videos now that I like, I mean, I feel like uh, that sounds like I'm flexing, but it, it's just, <laughs> I, there's, I just don't watch a lot of them. No. Yeah. It is tough because we put out so much. Yeah. yeah. Right. Turn around so you well, don't. You trust us to yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I if we hop, if I'm in someone else's pod, I'll maybe watch the first like ten minutes, and I'm like, I'm, I'm bored of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally me. I remember what <laughs> I said. Right, right. <clears throat> okay, oh, go on. Put it? the animal in your pocket. Oh, okay. Everybody, are you are you listening at home? George can no longer hear or see me. Wait, I can sort of hear you because you're speaking really. Yeah, loud. yeah. You right. Okay. Whisper. Yeah, I'm gonna whisper. Flying squirrel. I'll, like bang the desk. Right. I've done it. Okay. I've got an animal at my ass. Which one is oh, it? Oh God. Um, could I, could I cram it in an oven? Yeah, yeah. Could I shove it in a microwave? Yeah, yeah, that would be horrible though. Could I push it into a kettle? Oh, it depends how big the kettle is. Probably. A normal Russell Hobbs. Probably, yeah. Could I jam it into a toaster? Oh no, that no. would be evil. So it's between toaster and kettle. Yeah. I if I so. had a generic... Um, see-through pencil case to take into an exam, would it fit in? No. No. Hmm. I feel like you need to ask better questions than this. Yeah, but now I know the size. <laughs> okay. So you you could, it would would it be housed quite comfortably in the microwave then if it can't get shoved in a kettle? Yeah, I think it would probably go a bit batshit because it'd be mm. really uncomfortable, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, is it a land animal? Yes. Okay, is it a mammal? Furry, yeah. That wasn't a nickname. That was just ah, uh, yes. <laughs> is it an is it a mammal furry? <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> would I have seen one in my lifetime? No. <sighs> you sure? Mm -hmm. I've been around. I don't think so. Is it extinct? No. <sighs> Ooh. 
Does it have a bill? <laughs> no. Hmm. Can you pay my bills? Does it... Is it a meat eater? Um, not too to sure. <laughs> hey, takes one to no one? No? Okay, no worries. Not too sure, but I'm going to opt for no. Okay. Um, so you think it eats the vegetation surrounding? Yeah, <clears> you could say that. I mean, I hope you would say that, otherwise it's not going to eat anything. Um, mm -hmm. Furry little boy. Can we just say I'm doing better than George so far? I got it faster than he did. Just saying. I did it in like five questions. You got very lucky with Bill. Are you? If you, <laughs> if I didn't say Bill, you would have been fucking gone. No. Um, also, a swan has a beak. Just saying. It's got a bill. I think it's open to interpretation. Uh, um, yeah, if you're stupid, maybe. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Would it? Would you find one in the UK? No. Would you find one in Asia? He doesn't know. Would you no find idea. one in Africa? Probably. Like desert sort of vibe. No. Probably not in Africa then. Hmm. Would you find Africa is an old desert? It's a large mount desert. Maybe it is. I don't know. I remember. Being... I'm thinking you're thinking it one's in the jungle. Yes. South America vibes. Yes. Okay. What does it move slowly? No. Okay. Um are we related to them fairly closely? I think you are, but I'm not. And neither is the rest of the human so race. But you definitely look like it. So it's something clever. <laughs> um not northern. Mm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> does it have opposable thumbs? I think so, you know. I think it does. Is it a type of monkey? No. I don't think you're ever going to get this. Did I have one on my head? No. Hmm. <laughs> Up your ass, yes. But um, not, not on your head. Is its name a way to greet a sailor? No. Aye aye. Um, aye aye, what's that? It's a type of animal. How is it? Um, I'm thinking it's too deep <laughs> yeah, here. You, you are. are not clever enough. Ask uh, more generic uh, questions. <coughs> I feel like you've been too specific. Um, would you have one as a pet? I would want to. I don't know how dangerous that would be. I don't, maybe it's... Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay, is, is it spiky? No. Is it... Um, there's so many basic questions that you have not asked yet that it's flooring me that you've... Does it got... jump around a lot? Yeah. Um, Did you hear me? No. Oh, okay. Um, so it jumps around a lot? Yeah. And it's furry? Write down what you think it is, Callum, if you have it. Oh, type it. It, jumps, it yeah. jumps around a lot and it's furry and it lives in the jungle? Yes. Um... You sure it's a mammal? Positive. <laughs> okay. And it eats the vegetation. Yeah, probably. So is it like close to a bunny? I'd say it's closer to a bunny than other things that you've asked, yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> I'm so clever. What is oh it my in god, your I'm brain? so good at this. What is in your brain right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, is it some so kind much. of like mouse? Oh, I'd say it's maybe even closer to a mouse than a bunny. Mm. But it's neither of those things. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, so, I'm confused about oh. your brain. I'm um, so good at this game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is it a rodent then? Yes. Mm. Um, does it scream Alan? Does it scream Alan? Alan! Oh, a chipmunk. Oh. No, it's not a chipmunk. Mm, not a chipmunk either. That's a prairie dog. But, um, <laughs> uh, Wait, can we acknowledge that George is basically asking questions like in a roundabout way of asking, is it this? Can we acknowledge without the fact saying that George it? is playing the game correctly? No, he's not. That was basically, is it a chipmunk? But he didn't want to use one of his guesses. Not, is it a chipmunk? Is it a prairie dog? Um... <laughs> um you have one more guess. What? Yeah. Why? Because you're not doing well. I don't want to say it. Um, are they long? No. Very small, then? Not very small. Just like this size. Remember, I said that you could put it in a microwave and a kettle, but not a toaster. Yeah, so about this size. Mm, yeah. Um, do they go underground? No, not to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 
I'm so good at this game. I can't wait to find out what it is and pull you up on like seven questions you answered wrong. No, I didn't. I didn't. I've done it all so right. Um, I don't want to prolong this too long. Right. Ask uh, uh, one last guess then. Go on. Well, at what it is. Or oh, one more question, then one more guess. Okay. You've not asked very basic questions. Can it swim? Yeah, probably, but that's like not what it does. Probably does it, not very well. Does it climb trees? Yes. Um, I've not. I've not answered the questions wrong. Is it a chinchilla? No. Can I tell you what it is? Yeah. Flying squirrel. Oh, I fucking love them. See? It can definitely fit in a pencil case. No. I could cram one in a pencil case. I'm oh a, yeah, I'm that's a... what. That's what put you back, isn't it? The fact you've been flying the whole squirrel. time you've been thinking about the pencil case. I oh, smashed that. that. Right, well, I should have said, right, that would have been even more difficult, wouldn't it? I would have got it if you said Bush Baby. <laughs> I'm so good at that game. Oh. Also, putting, putting after I come out with Swan to try and be nice to you, coming out with Flying Squirrel. Because <laughs> I thought, I mean, I guess it so quickly that I just assumed that you would, and I thought you'd ask stuff like, can it fly? And I'd say, yeah, and then that would throw you off. You never even asked if it could fly. You didn't ask if it could, like, breathe flying underwater. Flying Squirrels can't fly. Yeah, they can't. It's literally a fly. They can't are you, fly. Are you taking the piss? They can't fly. Well, they can glide then. They, they they jump and just put their arms out. That's a glide. I would say that that fly, is flying. A fly means you can maintain the height. I trade. don't know about that. Either way, you didn't ask the question, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, because I'm not stupid enough to ask if a mammal can fly. Because <laughs> none of them can. Unless it's a bat. If I, asked it, See? if I said, can it fly, then I'd guess bat. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? Mm. Whoa. Oh I'll my god, that. I I'll won that, that game. That was, that, was, that was a good one. Yeah, it was. I won. I won. Yeah, I'll give you a right, hard one. one last one. Okay, Jesus I'll, give, I'll give you a hard one. Right, okay. Right. Uh, right. What have I got in my. Yeah, okay. I've got an animal in my pocket. Okay. Can it fly? <laughs> As in, maintain its flight. Yeah, I know what fly means. <laughs> um, I. Gonna have to double check. <laughs> what? Surely you know if it can fly. You said this last time. Some can. Some can fly. That is not helpful at all. Depends how good they are. <laughs> that is literally no, they, they, not. No, they can. Is it a chicken? No. Weird guess. <laughs> um, that's one of that's one oh, of the three. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it can fly. Um, can it swim? Um, no. No. Nope. Does it have wings? Yep. Helps it to fly. Does it have feathers? No. <laughs> so it has wings, but no feathers. What? You are so stupid. <laughs> things that have wings and no feathers. What has, a wing? what has wings? That isn't a bird. Anyone that drinks Red Bull. <laughs> what? No, that has thrown me off. Does it have a beak? Nope. So it's not a bird. Nope. But it has wings. Yep. And it doesn't have feathers. Nope. Is it big? It's big's relative. Could it fit in my hand? Like this? You've asked me that before. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and it and it can fly. Yep. The flying thing is gonna catch me and I know. That it's not going to be known for flying, and you're mugging hence me off. Hence why I searched it, and hence why I'll be I'll be honest. I didn't know if it could fly or not, and it can. And I've I've let oh, you know it that. it can't That's fucking fly, can it? Well, it can. can it maintain flight? Could it yeah. fly? Could it fly from one country to another? Well, probably not, because it's quite far. Yeah, but big birds can do that. All right, is it a big bird? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to work no, out. No, it's George. not. <laughs> could it fly from like one end of the street to the other? Well, can you swim? Not really. No. <laughs> Okay, so if, if I asked you, can you swim? And you replied yes. And then I went, all right, swim to America. <laughs> well, I just replied no. You can't? Oh, you can't swim then. Yeah, I can't. I really can't. Um, oh, I don't know. I give up. I literally don't know. You're missing out a whole category of the animal kingdom, which you asked at the beginning if that would count in this game. Can it breathe underwater? Nope. Is it an insect? Yep. Oh my God, insects don't have feathers. Oh my god, I That's forgot a about insects. Of context. <laughs> I forgot about insects. Oh my insects. god, insects don't have feathers. <laughs> oh, well, you've gone for some really obscure, annoying insects no, you then, haven't it. you? 
Is it an amphibian? No, as that is not an insect. <laughs> <laughs> you just got. Is oh. it an insect? Is it a bird? <laughs> oh. Is it a mammal? <laughs> Can it bite you? Um, and be like painful. I don't think it would bite you. No. Is it native to the UK? No. Is it in deserts? Uh, yes. I I feel like I want to give up. Is it a bearded dragon? <laughs> no, that's a lizard. Is it a real dragon? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I have one more guess. It's not just native to deserts. I literally don't know. And I feel like my brain is just not working. Last guess, zebra. That well-known insect. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Wait, what do you think it is? No. What do you think? What is it? It's a praying mantis. Oh, see. Boring. <laughs> Boring. They are deadly as well. They wouldn't bite you, though. Would they not? What do they do? They'd pince you. Is that what they do? I thought they bit people. Oh. No, they'd, they'd pince. Oh. And then, if they wanted to eat you afterwards, then yeah. they'd nibble on you, but they'd know they can't nibble on you. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Some of them could be quite big as well. Really? Yeah. Some of them could be quite small. Oh, I think, I feel like one's on me now. I don't like that. Right, anyway, no, we need to do our job. We're I, already I'm, like, I want to play some games. We're literally like an hour into the episode. How far, oh, how far are we into oh, it? Shit, we're half an hour. <laughs> half an yeah. hour fine. No, right, we can do one of this. What is it? I can't remember what that game is. After Dark Edition. Bad choices, <laughs> baby. Okay. All the best bad choices happen after dark. Oh, do they? Mm. Wow. Right, tell me how to stop. Okay. Stop. Would you break up with your partner if you caught them cheating? Yeah. Nice, good work. Then we'll <laughs> stop. Stop. Do you have a secret sexual fetish that you're too afraid to try? Yeah. What? Next one. <laughs> Next one. No, what would it be? I'm joking. I don't no, have like, one. No, but have, you got, have you got one that you're like, oh, I kind of want to try it, but I just no, I'm I afraid feel, to. No, because I don't, I can't, I can't think of anything. People want to be like suspended. Vanilla. <laughs> Some people want to be like suspended from the ceiling, like bound and gagged. And oh, I so think I'd have a panic attack. Is, my friend wants to be suspended. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this person that I know really well and they like want to be suspended. And I'm like, is that too far? Like, what do you think? <laughs> no, but I think if I got put in chains, whips, leather, full gimp mask, I would have a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a panic attack. Like I see the people... When they have it and they have like a hole cut out. Right. Where do you see these people? <laughs> just in my dreams. <laughs> and I think, you're going to die. Or like, what mm. if you just choked and died? Who would help you? You, you Like that person Best in the last episode. They can be dangerous. Yeah, they can be. Well, Anastasia. No. <laughs> yeah, like Anast <laughs> when Anastasia put that gimp suit on in that video one time. Um, right, next. Stop. During sex, have you ever tried to finger someone's ass without their permission? That's what sex is all about. What, the element of surprise. Without permission. <laughs> the element of surprise. I only have sex if there's a little unknown. We call it the forbidden finger. I don't think I'd ever want a finger in my booty hole. I mean, don't knock it till you try it. No, I've had friends that have tried it. I thought you were going to say, I've had friends that have done it to me. <laughs> <laughs> only friends, though. Yeah, no, I, fair enough. Yeah, I don't, my, some friends have tried it and they're like, I mean, it, it makes, scientifically, it makes sense. It scientifically does. And I think the i mean i remember when i was young and i put that pen up my ass and it was horrible and it and it snapped and ink right, went nice. all over me Pe pen is, pen is <laughs> <laughs> and i was terrified Pens are a gateway drug <laughs> <laughs> and i think the thing is there's like a point that you have to get to for it to do anything <laughs> How are we having this conversation? I don't know. How deep in your ass does it have to go? <laughs> I think it has to go like a little bit deep not like deep as in like this pen but at least I'd say like to there. Yeah, like a little oh, finger. Yeah. So if they're not doing that much, then it's just going to feel like someone's rooting around in like a place where they shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe, do you know what? Thanks, When you get home. Keep that for later. <laughs> Don't worry, we've when got a tap. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Would you eat a shit sandwich to meet your idol? No. I've already met my idol. And he oh, sat opposite me. That's cute. <laughs> no. I would, because I've never met him. Yeah. In your lifetime, have you sent or received... Yeah, boring. Um, have you ever sharted your... Yeah, boring. <laughs> have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? Would you ever pick up a hitchhiker? Would I ever pick up a hitchhiker? Have you ever hitchhiked? 
I have not ever hitchhiked. I, oh my God. Why did you laugh at hitchhiking? <laughs> because it seems like <laughs> I was once, right. I was once outside this club in London, not going to say where, because I don't want people to follow in my footsteps. And my friend would tell me, this was when I just moved there, mm. that at about like 3 um, p.m., a.m., sorry, when all of the, at about 3 a.m., when all of the clubs like close, yeah. the supercars come by like one nice. by one and like pick girls up and like, like whatever, like these big fancy men in like flashy cars come. And we were there once when the club closed and it was one by after another, like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, That's like so odd. And they literally come and they will just be like, Oh, do you wanna lift home to like random girls and stuff? And like we got in one one time and this guy literally just gave us a lift home. Like I was with two other friends just gave us a lift home. Nothing Ooh, else. There you go, guys. If you're looking for a free lift home, make sure you hop in a random man's supercar. No, but then oh. I thought, oh, this is just going to happen every time. Not thinking, oh, maybe it's because I was with two incredibly beautiful girls and he just wanted to t speak to the one in the front seat and basically ignored me and my entire existence. So I am leaving said club again by myself. I have no money. The tubes were closed at this point because of COVID. And I was like, I'll just wait for a car to come and take me home. This seems like a great idea. How I am still alive is beyond me, genuinely. This like Lamborghini pulls up. I remember it was like golden on the outside and everyone was like, oh. whoa. And, he, and this guy was like, oh, do you want to come in? I was like, yeah, sure. Like, will you take me home? And no word of a lie, no word of a lie. I get into the car, into the back seat and he goes to me, right, 50 quid. What you, what are you going to do for me? And I was like what sing i was like i was like <laughs> you're gonna pay me to take me home like what's happening i was like no no no. like i just want to go home and he was like are you taking the piss like you're a prostitute and i was like no i was like oh my god i'm I'm so sorry i thought i thought that you would just take me home like i, I thought got you in a taxi i was like i got in a car like before <laughs> and they just took us home so like, i thought that you were gonna do the same D bad idea like it was it got so dark i literally had to be like let me out let me out oh my god i was terrified so don't do that oh, i don't yeah. think that Breaking many people news, were guys uh <laughs> men in flashy cars if they offer you a ride for free <laughs> don't take it oh it was such an error of judgment it was um and yeah please do not do that but this yeah this one i've just seen okay i have no idea what this is so we're gonna have to search it up would you ever go see a donkey show in mexico is that just like I, I, when the donkeys fight? I don't know. I've ridden a donkey before, you and I felt really bad about it. He's called Andrew. He's <laughs> fine. Donkey show, I, Mexico. I went on holiday to Spain with my family, and my stepdad was particularly large at this time, and we all wanted to go on the donkeys, and they saw my stepdad, and they were like, get Grande out the back, and this massive old donkey came out to lift him. Why, what have you just seen? <laughs> oh, God. A donkey show. <clears throat> I'll give you uh, Wikipedia's answer first before I give you Urban Dictionaries. Okay. Um, so the answer, the question is, would you ever go see a donkey show in Mexico? What's that, you ask, Max? Mm. A donkey show is a type of live sex show in which a woman oh. engages in bestiality with a donkey, <gasps> which according to urban legend and some works of fiction were once performed in the Mexican border city of Tijuana, oh. particularly in the mid 20th century. Oh. Uh, Urban Dictionary has more to say on this matter. Oh. The infamous act of a girl getting fucked by a donkey <gasps> cock whilst, whilst paying gentlemen oh. gather around and watch. <gasps> then in context, Davy and I want to go we want to go to Mexico to pick up some RXs and see a donkey show. Because oh. we'd love to see a girl who's in so much need of money or cock that she'd fuck a donkey. Oh my god. So, would you go to a donkey show? I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. But if you see it, you if you see it crop up on your Twitter feed, you're watching that video. I probably am watching that video. Yeah. I may or may not have today seen a woman making love to a tractor. Link me it. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is crazy, isn't it? Right. Let's actually do our job now. Um, so, if you are new to the useless hotline, I'm so sorry that you had to enjoy the first half of that episode. Um, this brings a whole new meaning to Shrek. Yeah, it does. What does that mean? <laughs> Shrek. Donkeys, donkeys oh really god. do have layers. Oh god. <laughs> um, right, can you hear the phone ringing? I really can. Do you want to get it then? Yep. Oh, yeah. Booyaka. Hi, I don't know if you remember, but I sent in a voice note about the cum rag and how Dang. we lost it and cum, we think his mum has seen it. Girl. 
and I just wanted to give you a little update. So, yesterday, yeah, his mum like brought the washing up. It was all folded and everything. Nice. And so I just started getting my tops out and hanging them up. Nice. About halfway down this pile, it was there on display. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh. I cried a bit. Oh. I, 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 I want to move out now. Like, like out how with. the hell yeah. do you come back from that? Like, what Like what <laughs> on God's earth is going on? Why have I not seen it for two months? Well, three months now, I'd, I'd say. And why has it just appeared one day on the on the washing pile? Like, it's just normal, because it's really not normal. I don't know how she looks at me. Wow. So, if you don't remember, this girl had a comrag that she used with her boyfriend that had the words comrag embroidered on it. Mm. And then they got it lost in the washing at his mum's house. And now three months later, it's suddenly shown up on the washing line. Not on the washing line. On the In the washing. In the wash bin, which means she has laid eyes on the camrag. Mum's been ragging away. I don't know oh. if I say that. Oh, God. Um... But imagine like looking through and come again. Oh, I had. Oh my god, I have a funny similar story. So I, do you remember when I told you that I went for a run and my testicles got twisted? Yeah. And ended up in A and E overnight. Mm-hmm. So I, for like a long period of time after that, I'm talking like maybe like two years, had to wear a jock strap Ooh, to the gym. That's hot. To basically, and it, have you seen what they, do you know what that looks like? Um, I've seen, like, high school movies. Like porn. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, yeah, uh, I've seen porn. No, they, so they basically, <laughs> yeah, it's basically porn. like tighty whities round the front, and then, like, your whole ass is exposed. You go. But I had to wear them to, like, keep my balls in place, mm. so that they didn't jiggle around too much, and, like, whatever. And... I must have like had this at Andrew's house. Okay. And then like I'm there the next week and Andrew rings me and he's like, Oh my god, my mum has washed your jock strap. She definitely thinks that it's some sort of like weird, like sex strappy underwear situation and that it's Andrew's and he nice. was mortified. Um so yeah, Andrew's mother, I promised that it was just to hold my balls together whilst I did sit ups at the end of his bed. Sit ups. And we shagged while I did that. You shagged whilst doing sit-ups? No, no, I, no, I didn't. Ouch. Yeah, that would hurt quite a bit. Feel that burn. Yeah. Um, but to help this girl... Yeah. I don't know. There is no help. Unfortunately, your step has seen your camera. Yeah. The classic story. step <laughs> Mother-in-law. M- uh, oh, mother-in-law. Sorry, <laughs> I was still thinking about those movies. Yeah, you're still thinking about um, <laughs> um, I'd oh. say just get over it. <laughs> get a fucking grip, love. Um, just don't lose track of your camera again. Yeah. And that goes for everyone else. Come on, guys, keep keep an keep, eye on your camera. Keep that's, her an eye. I think that's, Do you have anything like that? I mean, I know that's a bit TMI, but, but I've never been one to be like. Rag? I've never been one to be like. Oh, that's the like jizz towel. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't find understand that, that the, the whole like thing around people like jizzing in socks and stuff. I don't get that. I've and never. Then like, oh, that's my jizz sock. Yeah, Your jizz like well, like oh, multiple use. Yeah, I've never. Or are been... you just throwing it in the wash every day? <sighs> Not every day, but you know. But I've just never like felt like oh, I need to just jizz on that item of clothing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's not for me. I mean, I I really like some tops, but I've never gone. Oh, go on in. Yeah, that was a really good opportunity for a gay joke there, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, much to think about. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. I've just had an email come through. That is brilliant news. Yeah. Bing bong. Audio listeners, um, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> hey. Just speaking to you now, baby. Hey. Hope you're doing well. Love uh, you. Have you ever done a line of cocaine off a person's body? <laughs> that can All be the time. Sense. Every Christmas. All you, the time. Have you ever measured your penis using a ruler? Yes. And then I remember I had to try and work out how to convert it to inches. And I, and I sat there like trying to work it out mathematically and got it wrong. And it came up that I had like a four inch dick. And I was like, oh my God, it's oh. like four inches. Ima- then yeah, I imagine <laughs> that'd be so... That, oh, I can do that. That's... Oh. Oh. Get it out. 
get it. Live measuring. Should we both do it? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Go with it. I'm writing it down. <laughs> what, just a thing to do again? What is this? <laughs> Measure dick. <laughs> I, I just uh, my problem was like, I couldn't find a, a ruler long enough. No, yeah. Hiya, boys and potential guest. Nice. I'm a huge fan of the podcast, but my dilemma took place two weeks ago. Nice. Basically, I'm a very jumpy person. It's incredibly easy to scare me, and everybody in my family <gasps> takes adver. I didn't write this in, by the way. <laughs> Everybody in my family takes advantage of this, especially my dad. He always hides and jumps out to scare me. Two days ago at around 10 p.m., nice. I went into my room and I sleep nude. So I started taking off my clothes. Jesus Christ. If she's about to say that her dad's under her bed and she starts, oh, I can't. Come. Unbeknownst to me, my dad had been laying in my bed. Oh, my God. <laughs> under the duvet to scare me. Oh, my God. As soon as he realized what I was doing, he couldn't see under the duvet. He quickly sat up and told me to stop. But at that point, I was already naked, like titties and coochie out. That's what like she meant that. by naked. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. My dad I was already naked. But eyes. what about the titties and coochie, Max? <laughs> My dad closed his eyes and then left. But that doesn't change the fact he saw everything. <laughs> I just like the thought of him closing his eyes, just running into the door. <laughs> <laughs> Runs into something. Daughter's tits. Ah. Put your hands out if your daughter's oh, yeah. tits are Daughter's around. tits. Anyway, um, he's been avoiding me the last two days. Can't imagine why. Leaving the room whenever I go in. What do I do? Even though I'm a lesbian, I just want to say Max is super fit. Oh, nice. I once got into a um, all lesbian bar because they thought that I was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is going to be the explanation. Did you, <laughs> did you not have to get your gay card out? <laughs> no, because I just didn't have one then. Oh. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> were you just on your provisional? Yes, I was, yes. I hadn't learned. I hadn't done the test yet. Um, <laughs> How, why did they wow. think you were a woman? They, I mean, uh, so I was with I mean this, off the many reasons. What was so the, I was with a girl um, who's my friend, and she was like... And they went, there's no way he's with her. <laughs> yeah. No, and they were like, oh, like... It, like oh, no, that would make sense. Shut up, Carol. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I want to, like, go into this lesbian bar and, like, see what that's all about. She was feeling... She got a bit drunk, and I think she was feeling a bit bi-curious. Yeah. I was like, oh, right, okay, then let's go. And then as we were queuing, this boy got turned away, and they were like, no, it's literally women only. Like, you, you can't come in. And I was like, oh, like, what? they might just think that I'm, a, like, a, a butch woman. Well, butchish woman. And they did, and they let me in. Oh. Um, and it was a great time, to be fair. Very supportive environment. Did, did people not come up to you and just go, like... Oh, also, what did you do when you got to the toilets? Honestly, there were manlier looking people than me in there. So I got away with what, it. What, the urinal? Yes. <laughs> no, they didn't have a urinal. What do you mean, what did I do when I got to the toilets? It was a women-only place. They only had one toilet. Yeah, it must be waiting for ages for the men's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how does she help the situation? Um, I think, personally, if my dad was hiding under my quilt and saw me naked, I'd leave the country. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> Steady on, boy. <laughs> I would leave the country. I would find it very difficult to look in the eye of somebody who is a family member that just saw my third eye. Third eye is what you've gone for there. Yeah. That's small. Yeah. I thought it was a third nipple. Turns out I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> uh, a little bit bigger than a third nipple. Right, no, okay. You know, nothing That's impressive. good. That's good, yeah. yeah. Um, what I say, um, just say, look, Dad, didn't think I have to tell you, I have to tell you this. Don't lay in my bed in the evenings. Yeah. Also, well, how long is he under there? Too long. You know, if you got unless, fully unless undressed, she's literally just whipping it off as she's walking yeah. into the room. Maybe she had like, like a nighty on or something. But even still, yeah, like don't wait that long. Like no. all you need is the the initial walks into the room, sort of looks on the phone for a bit. Then mm. ah, you don't yeah. go. I'm going to stay here for five hours. <laughs> was he waiting until she opened the covers? Then he was like... Know, must have been, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, just, I'd just be really upset and I'd leave and I'd say, please don't do that again. What would you have done in that Prefer. situation if you were the dad? Would you have just... Would you have maintained? I would have gone, nunga nunga. Oh my 
God, you're so gay. Um, <laughs> what a straight man you are. Max. I would have probably gone, oh my God, I'm gay, so I promise I'm not doing anything weird. Um, and then she'd reply, also, oh, you've got something to tell mum. <laughs> yeah, also, I'm so sorry that you're finding out this way. <laughs> I thought this was the best way. I thought this was the best way to do it. <laughs> be repulsed by your female body and then explain. I don't think um, you'd have to be gay to be repulsed by your daughter's body, Max. I mean that is true. Um, do you ever do it when you rub your eyes so good and it feels like you're having sex with your eye? Like I'm uh, sorry, I got so distracted then I couldn't even think what? about what we were talking about. This feels so good right now. I'm literally like, like. Oh my god, I'm rubbing it so hard and it's literally the best feeling. And there's like rainbows in my vision. Wait, oh my god, I'm gonna do both of them. Oh my god. George, do you know what I'm talking about? You lost me long ago. Oh my god, that feels so good. Not when well, you're rubbing your eyes. But what have you just like finished? What do you what do you I mean? I finished now. I feel like the itch has been scratched. Uh finished as in the rubbing or I just jizzed my pants <laughs> didn't you I didn't, didn't. <laughs> did you not oh I thought you just came because you rubbed your eyes Max <laughs> thanks for thanks for letting me know that's not what happened oh god oh what were we talking about <laughs> um I would be upset and I'd say I'm so sorry daughter I don't want to speak for the next three to five business days but let's move on and pretend it never happened after that right yeah. What would you do if it's a weekend? If it's a weekend, then even longer, baby. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear the phone ringing? I bloody can. Yeah, I'll get this one. Audio listeners, I just... um. Oh, by the way, audio listeners, I was rubbing my eye just then. If you couldn't tell. Hi, boys. Um, Hi. I think this is more of a dilemma for Max, because I just feel like he's going to relate more. Okay. So, basically, there's this... There's just this influencer, I don't like that word, but there's this influencer that I really like. I think he's really cool. He has, like, an all right podcast. His, co-host, his like, co-host is better than him, but whatever. Um, but I've recently found out that he's CGI. And I don't know, like, it's just really upset me that, like, George Clark, like, I quite like him, is CGI. So I was just wondering, Max, like, how did you feel when you found out he wasn't real and he was just like cgi congrats on getting the green screen looking so good though on your podcast i just wanted to put this in because i am highly confused and i want to get to the bottom of cgi (laughs) thing all about i don't know where's it come from i really don't know but i thought maybe we can try to get to the bottom of it did we ever say anything that made no Oh, <coughs> see, all real. <coughs> oh, it hit me in the oh. face. See, it's not CGI; it's real. So you aren't clever enough to think of the three letters CGI. So <laughs> it wouldn't have been you, and I'm not gonna. More TGI Fridays over here. Oh, George Maybe. is like made out of TGI. <laughs> what is? I mean, look, where did it come from? Do we know? Uh, Have any idea? When did you first see it? Just made a computer and shut up. When did you first see that people accuse you of being CGI? Because I look at the comments of our videos. Oh, shame he's not real. But did it? It started on our podcast videos, though, didn't it? We must have said something then. They just said shame he's not real. So at some point you must have said, oh, he's not real. I'm not real. At some point we must have had some sort of conversation about that. You guys have to remember we do the podcast. And then everything and that listen. we said... <laughs> Get out of it! Everything that we say leaves my brain by the next hour. As soon as I'm home, I'm like, right, I've Matt, forgotten you everything. You are literally built like a goldfish. Yeah, I don't, I don't retain Body information. Body type and all. Yes. Um, don't lack, <laughs> I lack the swimming yeah. skills. Yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just want to know. So please let us know where the CGI comments come from because I don't know either. I'm so, com- I'm so confused by them. It makes no sense. It will make sense. We've definitely said something that has made people start doing it and then they just carry on doing it. Weird. It is weird. Well, I am hey, real. I'm a real man. I yeah, real, real feelings. Real dickhead. And when you tell me that I've, I've got a real dickhead. Oh, God. Um, and when you tell me that I'm not real, that kind of hurts. Yeah. This is a form of cyberbullying, actually. Yeah. So I'll think about that. Um, I've just sent you an email, George, if you wouldn't mind okay. pressing print. Of course. Thank you. Mm. 
That eye rub is still getting me. Guys, comment down below if you know what I mean when you're just rubbing on that eye. I, I it's it's a nice feeling because you need to oh, rub your eye. it's so eye, nice. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't like go out my way to lose my vision just. So I, I got could... into like a an amazing state with it. <clears throat> oh. See, this one's about me. Mm. So it's weird that I'm reading it. Do you want me to read it? Um. Do you want to read it? I don't know what it is. Maybe. If, you, if it makes sense for me to read it, yeah, then I'll read, read it. Yeah, you read it. Because I know you'll... <coughs> yeah, I know you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> Keep me anonymous. All right. If you insist. Her name is Rebecca, and she lives at 36... It's at 25 Avenue. <laughs> that was the best well, I could think of. Um, hello, Max Christ. and George. Your podcast has to be one of the best things I've ever watched. Great taste, Anonymous. Nice. Anyways, this weekend I got myself into a bit of a bad situation. It's pretty much all of George's fault. Okay. Anyway, me and my best friend were out clubbing on Saturday and we had a few drinks and we're both having a great time. Nice. And then we started to have a conversation about how gorgeous George is. Oh. Every night ends that way. Oh, my God. Can you tell that George picks out the written dilemmas? Anyway, um... And this... I'll be it, honest, we were scraping the bottom of the barrel for these things. <laughs> <laughs> we could honestly speak about it for hours. Hours did go by, and then we had... And we then had planned to meet our boyfriends. Oh, so they're cheating on their boyfriends. Mm. I wasn't there. Uh, yeah, well, in the, in the mind. If I was there, it would have been. Yeah. <laughs> we go and meet them in a usual manner when I accidentally call my now ex-boyfriend, George. Don't. I couldn't help myself but laugh, probably rude, because me and her had been talking about him. Anyway, these people can't write, can they? Anyways, my ex begins to kick off, shouting around the town I was cheating on him. I'm a slag, and he screams in my face and walks home. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> when I soon find out he was with another girl and had been cheating on me the whole time. So, anyways, thanks, George. Thought this needed to be told. All my love. So somebody was speaking about you and that they fancied you in a club with their friend. They then met both of their boyfriends, yeah. accidentally called him George. Yeah. He thought that she was cheating on him. They broke up and then find out that he was actually cheating on yeah. her. Social wow. media is crazy, man. My guy can take in information. I can. Like a memory card. Like a goldfish. Oh, that, wrong. Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe I have really good short-term memory and bad long-term memory. What? Uh, anyway. anyway um, <laughs> wow. Advice? I mean, I don't know. You've you've solved your own problem. Yeah, there is no... That, like, that basically, what's happened there is... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just a benefit to talk about. So you do benefit fraud. Is that what you just said? That's exactly what I said, Max, mm. yeah. Wow. What I took from that is that I do benefit fraud. <laughs> wow. Well, that's not okay. Don't show the government... Well, I'm not in my wheelchair. Well, we'll try not to. We'll try. I'm actually still in a chair with wheels. That is true. Although I am using my legs to move around. Mm. Do you know, oh my gosh, I always, and I, I understand that usually people who are in this aren't like in a good situation in life, but those electric wheelchairs where you can literally like move, are like the mobility scooters. You're not going to say they sound, they look fun. I used to think that mobility scooters would be so much fun. Just like it's a mini go kart, but you're allowed it everywhere in life. Yeah, I don't think people, people think, whoa! I don't oh. think people are drifting around the town in them. They're, they're very much doing it because they are, and also they most of the time will be carrying a little bit more weight than. I've seen some people that are going pretty fast, and it doesn't really look like they have all that much. You could soup it up, to be fair. Soup it! Oh my god! Imagine like turbo. Yeah. You could put like actual car wheels on it. Stick a portable speaker in there. <gasps> Can we get one? That's a fun idea. Oh, that's a really fun idea. That yeah. is a fun idea. Both rock around in mobility scooters. Yeah. Oh, I would love that. Oh my god. That'd gosh. be funny though, idea for a video for a YouTube video. What? Just go around a mobility scooter. Just be. I just pretend to be old for a day. Oh. Rock around the mobility scooter. <coughs> oh god. You right, darling. <coughs> just choking on my youth. <coughs> whilst I've still got it. It just put oh, the fear yeah. into me. Um. Yes. Anyway. I think you've solved your problem. Yeah, there, Good there is no, there's not a real dilemma there. I don't know why they've even put that. <coughs> yeah. Up. 
I really just wanted to um, get your attention. Oh, oh, can you hear the phone ringing? I can. Right in I my gosh. ear hole. That's crazy. Pop it on. Nice. <coughs> right, so I've just been watching your racing episode. And I just feel bad for Max. And this is not a dilemma. But I just... You're all like saying George is fit. George is ugly. Max is so fit. But George is just so ugly. Like, no so offence, okay. George. Like, you, you're you all right. But mm. Max is just so fit. And no one talks about it. What? So thank you guys for listening to my dilemma. Oh, my God. Finally, somebody with eyes. George is so ugly. Don't get me wrong. He's all right. What does that even mean? It means, like, for an incredibly deeply ugly person, inside and out, you're all right. Like, you're still passable. But you're definitely all the way down there, especially compared so to I me. I told you, Max, I'm not going all the way down there. <laughs> I don't want you there anyway, you ugly fuck. Rude. Yeah. Also, all this after... <laughs> you can tell who picks out the written dialogues. <laughs> yeah, George actually picked this one um, as well. Um, and mine yeah. wasn't even about me. It was because... The, it was about you. About, it was more it about was breakup. About could have been any. Could have inserted anybody into that dilemma, and it would still have been a dilemma. This one. <laughs> this one was just not for so my much. personal enjoyment. Not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. And um, whoever you are, I hope that someone's kissing you and cuddling you every night because you deserve it. Oh, uh, as long as you're over eighteen. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Well, they can still have that, but just somebody who's under eighteen as well. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no touching. <laughs> Until. <laughs> oh, God. It's like year seven. Just... <laughs> whoa, whoa, steady on. You're underage. Oh. Right. I do that with year sevens anyway. Yeah, they do. Same, no, you're under. Weird. Yeah. Carry anyway, on. right, moving on. Uh, the phone's ringing again. The phone's ringing again anyway. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Just kidding. Oh, God. Right, there we go. Yeah. Fuck that phone. It's over there now. Hi, Max. Hi, George. Hi. Beck here, hoping for some of your invaluable advice. Mm. So, I have a condition invaluable called endometriosis, one. which it's has always good, affected my sex drive, but especially recently as it's become worse and means it flares up every time I have sex. Mm. My fiance is starting to notice the decline of action recently, and I'm worried he thinks it's him, even though it most definitely is not. He knows about the condition, but I still worry it's Loki getting to him, and I'm not sure what I should do to show him that I still very much find him attractive, despite the sex pretty much being off the table. Also, I think endometriosis needs more awareness, as although I've just been diagnosed and could literally become infertile from it, I am on a year-long waiting list. <laughs> so maybe you guys should do a period simulator just saying and p.s endometriosis is level 10 right a level lot 10 to, uh, do you know what a period oh, simulator a peri is oh, yeah i think that we should do one of those oh it doesn't hurt as much as getting kicked in the balls so does it not oh do you actually know that or are you just <laughs> no it's, oh. it's it's just i know, oh, is that I like know for a split second thing? that's just like right. pissed so many right. people off i think i really want to try it <clears throat> because sometimes you would be awful with I it. I would be horrible. I am the weakest person in the world. Guys, my balls got tangled and I was in A&E overnight. And he never mentions it. I never, ever, ever talk about it. I am so weak that I don't think I'll be able to do it. So I think if anybody out there knows anybody who has a period simulator or who like, like, do people just like do it as a job? Like, well, you offer can buy out? one, I think. Can you buy one? Yeah, it's just I think like, like really expensive. It's just probably. like pads you put in your stomach. I feel like that would be really expensive. If someone wants to let us borrow their period simulator, not I would love something to do that. you don't want to borrow off a person. Why not? I trust all of oh, our so viewers. So, what was the thing she said she had? Endometriosis. And fair enough, she should have more visibility for that because I mean, you're getting it right now, darling. If you have endometriosis, comment down below. Let's start an endometriosis hey, what chain. Is, what does uh, your sibling, who's a girl, say? Uh, no, what do you say to your sibling who's a girl when she asks you, ah, oh, why do you not hang around with your other two mates anymore? It used to be just the three of you guys. Endometriosis. Endometriosis. <laughs> oh my God. That's quite good. Uh, End sorry. of my triosis. It's the endometriosis. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect to endometriosis, but that was great. I enjoyed that. Um, 
<laughs> and I do think it's ridiculous that something can be so severe and it can be so difficult. Like the fact that she's on a year long wait list. Yeah. Grow up. That is oh, silly. Not you, the the people making the list. So stupid. Yeah. I meant to that. I don't know what the solve is though. I think just like government funding. Let's uh, guys tag the government down below. Let's make a change. Um, but yeah, oh, I have that. Make the change. If you would like me and George to do a period simulator, please comment down below because I think that that would be really great. I'm gonna feel real good. We might get copyright striking because that sounds like, exactly like MJ. <laughs> gonna make it right. Do you ever just like sing and just like have a good time? I like to sing. Not, come on then, carry on. I'm not good at singing. No, okay, but just show us how you have a, just have a good time. Like, for example, the other day, I, I just put karaoke on. Nice. On YouTube. Yeah. And I sang Mean by Taylor Swift. Okay, go on then. In a country accent. Nice. And I, I had a great Give time. Give a little... All you are is mean and a liar and pathetic. It might get copyright striking because that's really good. Yeah. And it's very similar to the original. Um, but I just love love to sing. Mm. And you know what? It's made me realize I want to get a car again. Because when I had my car, I would drive to places and sing and Jesus feel happy. God, money's got to him. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to sing some more. I might buy a car. <laughs> no, but like, where else in life can you just sing and people won't be like, shut up. House? My house is like, I live with people. I don't want to be singing in front of it. I need my own stage. And my car is that stage. Shit. I don't have a shed, sadly. Buy a shed, then. I guess I didn't think of that. That's probably cheaper go than a car. Go buy a shed and put loads of um, soundproofing all around it and make like a little studio. Just <laughs> it, for me to say. shed. <laughs> so like, much effort. And people come around and go, they'll go, Andrew, where's Max? You go, he's in the shed again. <laughs> he's in the recording studio, just singing. <laughs> Um, also, I move house in maybe two weeks into like my actual house, my first home that I'm buying. Nice. Fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. And if there are any furniture Max's or fingers like. fingers are doing an impression of his balls right now. Yeah, they are. Crisscross. Crisscross. Any furniture or decoration companies or anything like that that would like to gift me things, I would love nice. that because a bed costs thousands of pounds, which is. I found out today when you buy a bed, it doesn't come with a mattress. No. Fraudulent activity. You can't use a bed without a mattress. Yeah. So sell it together. But you you can buy a phone case and it doesn't come with a phone. But that is very different to spending £3,000 on a bed in this economy. You can buy a camera and it doesn't come with a lens. Most of the time they do. Mm, not if you're getting a good one, Max. Right, well, we're not all... We're not, like, money's got to him. Look at that. He said, if your camera doesn't cost 20 grand, then you're a loser. Oh, this man. Disgusting. My guy needs to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> do we have Can one you do more? do your best roadman accent, please? Roadman accent. Have we got one more? Yeah, I think so. Oh, sweet. One. Do we have one more written one? Yeah. yeah. Um, my best roadman accent. All right, yeah, I'll press it to send. For the, for, the, for the duration of this last thing, can you do your do it in a Should I do it in my road? Oh, I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. Okay. <clears throat> this will be a hell of a, <laughs> hell of a <laughs> experience. Right. What's road man? Just like, yeah, man. I don't know. Take it away. Okay, then. <clears throat> road man is not an offensive word, is it? No. No. Good. Hi, Matt San George. Help. I was having a horrific day already. And so my mum, as the wonderful lady she is, made a Nutella toasty. Nutella on toast in brackets. <laughs> I, I ate the whole thing doing some homework. So I didn't pay much attention. So later that God. evening, I got bored and headed to the kitchen. You Man. That wasn't it. And I had that for the accent. Oh, really? That was, mm -mm. That was brilliant. Um, and there it was, yeah. The Nutella pot <laughs> with scoops out of it from earlier. That stupid bitch. That I added that as well. Because I just assumed that maybe the road men might call their yeah, mum a yeah, bitch yeah. from time yeah, to that time. Makes sense, yeah. go, I was going to check like the the ingredients out of pure curiosity, <laughs> and then the date said fourth, sixth, twenty twenty one. I was horrified, 
starstruck even that my mum fed me this starstruck is really definitely the wor- wrong word no. Um, oh my god, oh my god, she fed me. She fed me 2021 Nutella. <laughs> what should I do, man? <clears throat> From a Nutella crossy, toasty cruncher. You're both absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, man. Um, You're done, though. I once... Where's, where's the, the accent gone? I once had cereal that was well out of date and the milk was, like, fishy. Fishy milk? It tasted like fucking fish, man. Oh, that's... I don't know if I yeah, want to carry Yeah, it's mad. No, carry on. It's oh, mad. butters. No. Literally, like, I was like, what are you playing at? Like, oh, fi- why oh, are you fishy? Milk. Why are you fishy for? Like... Yeah, milk. I told that... Not gonna say that joke still. Told that girl, nah, man. <coughs> and I said the same to the milk. Poor fishy. Emily attack. We all know what you get up to. That's such a rude thing to say, though. Yeah, man. And I also, in the same household ate some cheese and onion crisps that went out of date the year before and they were soft and it was horrible. Yo, that's not crisp. That's limp. <laughs> Yo, with all the packet of cheese and onion limps. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Um, that's all I've got to give to this scenario. <laughs> and I want to stop. I don't like the accent. It's actually making me feel a bit creep. Yo, I'd say just keep an eye on the health yeah man if your body don't like it mm-hmm. your body gonna get rid of it simple as fun yeah gonna shit it out on that if you if you're if you're feeling icky yeah your man got sticky yeah <laughs> you, your I, just, man, I just did my pants if man. you're feeling icky you're gonna get sicky yeah i'm gonna get uh, sicky yeah, so man. just you know uh don't churn that shit up you don't yeah. know uh and then you feel fresh yeah man but yo yo if a food goes out of date take me on a date when you throw it out um pub. yeah when you no when when you're gonna throw a food when out, am I? It's out of, yeah right away man packet of ham straight away out of the in the bin man what about eggs right out the window straight away straight away say let yeah S- say mums mm-hmm <laughs> I'm not one of the I'm I'm not one of these people <laughs> that can like eat out of date food. No fam, eggs, if they float, they're good. If they sink, I've they never stick. I've never tried to float. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. I wanna move on. I, I wanna I want it all to be over. I'm having a horrible time. No, but if you if it, if you have eggs, pop them in a the, uh, thing. If they float then that means you can still eat them. Really? Yeah, yeah, fam. I think I'm just gonna leave it. What about yog yog? I if think, anything's I think out of da- date, I, do, I typically think don't eat it. Think dairy and that. Yeah, to, to, if that's out of date, Man, I keep it away. Fishy. Cheese. Cheese. You can just see if it's mouldy. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate it. Even then, it's just more cheesy. I hate the uni days. How can cheese days. go off? It just becomes more cheese. True. I hate the uni days where people would just have, like, mouldy food all the time. Bread, I heard, uh, even if one slice on the end's got, like, a little bit of mould on, don't eat the rest of it. Because the spores stay inside the packet and they like go around and they start from within and before they come out to the top. So manna eat mold, even though you think your bread not old. Oh! <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Can you do the sign off rhyming, please? If you enjoyed this episode. Then you better have blown a big load. What? Why? I guess if they enjoyed it that much. Yo, if you enjoyed this thing, give that bell a ring. Give oh. us a like. And don't subscribe. Psych! Do subscribe. Yeah. And if you um would like to give us a review, thank you. <laughs> If you enjoyed the episode you're watching, <laughs> give us a like and a subscribe. Ring those bells so you're notified every time we upload. If you're listening online, give us a five-star rating. Download us so you can listen to us on the go. Um, and what should they do if they want to send in a dilemma? If you want to send in a dilemma, then please send in good ones, please, because we're going through a drought at the minute where they're not that good. A drought. Um, please send in the written ones to the use of podcast at gmail.com and please send in the audio ones to at the useless hotline pod on instagram and until next time baby suck this
so. And you say summer. What? You say summer. I got. I got. You came up with something. I know. This. I said summer. Awful. Just you say something. Uh. Until next time. Say bless, fam. Yeah. Drop the pen. Just like drop the mic, but I did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.